What's up guys and welcome back to Software and Hardware Solutions and today we're talking about Days Gone. Now yes, Days Gone has been released on console a very very long time ago but a lot of PC players wanted to play this game. Now if you have bought this game or got this game and you have this game on your PC or on your laptop, today I'm going to show you how to get more FPS out of this game, how to reduce stutter, lag and just in general get more FPS out of your game like FPS boosts. Now, this is for all users out there. It doesn't matter if you're a laptop user, a desktop user, a gaming laptop user, or a gaming desktop user. I'm going to show you what you can do in Windows to get more FPS out of this game, especially if you're having a bad experience in this game with your laptop or your computer. Now, I'm not going to leave any link in the description down below for you to go and download an FPS boost pack or some bullshit because most of that stuff just fucks with your computer and it will most likely fuck up your whole PC and you won't be able to play this game. So stay tuned, I'm going to show you guys how to do this in very easy, simple steps, and this will help you out. Trust me, you do not need to worry, this will help your system out. Alright, let's jump straight into it and show you guys what you need to do. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm on my desktop right now. So go to your desktop, then just go to the search bar over here and type in run. Press enter, and what you're going to need to do is press the shift key and 5 to bring up the percentage symbol and type in temp. And shift and 5 again to bring up the percentage symbol and just press enter. Now click on anything inside here. Press ctrl and A to highlight everything inside here. You might have much more things inside if you've never done this before. So I highly recommend highlighting everything. Right click on it and say delete. Close this tab out and then just say right click on empty recycling bin. And click on empty recycling bin and say yes. Right once you're done with that what you're going to need to do is go to the search bar again and type in run. This time you're going to type in prefetch just like that and press ok now what you're going to need to do is click on anything over here press ctrl and a again and right click on it and say delete say skip because windows is currently using this file and you cannot delete it so you go to the recycling bin right click on it say empty recycling bin and say yes once you're done with that what you're going to need to do is go to the search bar again and type in graphics settings just like that and you'll see it pop up over here where it says graphic settings. Just click on it and open it up. What you're going to need to do is switch this on. If you do not have this option, especially for low-end gaming PC users or low-end laptop users, if you do not have this option, don't worry, I got you guys. So what you're going to need to do is click on browse over here and find where your Days Gone is installed and just double click on it. So if it's on Steam, you go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and go into the game file and find Days Gone. Double click on it and it will add it. Now I already selected this. So what you're going to do is you're going to add it here. Click on it. Go to options and say high performance and say save. Now this will use your GPU and push your GPU to its limits to get more FPS out of the game. All right. The next step that we're going to need to do is go back to the search bar over here at the bottom and type in edit power plan just like that and click on edit power plan over here. Once you're over here, what you're going to need to do is go to power options. Okay, so once you hit power options, you're going to go to create a power plan and you're going to delete everything inside here and just type in four days gone and click on high performance and say next. Once you're done with that, make sure it says never and never and say create. Now you have a power plan for days gone, specifically four days gone and just make sure that it's ticked. Go to change plan settings and click on change advanced power settings. Once you're over here, you're going to see all these boxes. It's very important to do some tweaks inside here. And I'm going to show you what you're going to need to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in power options. Now, what you're going to need to do is, it says for days gone active. What you're going to need to do is go to the little plus icon over there. And where it says turn off hard disk after, yours might say 10 minutes or 20 minutes. If you've never done anything in the power options before, all you're going to need to do is click on it and delete everything inside the box and type in zero. Say apply and just click anywhere and it's going to change it to never. Now this will never turn your hard drive off, especially if you're running your game on a normal mechanical hard drive or an SSD, a solid state drive. It doesn't really matter as long as you change this to never. Now the next step you're going to need to do is go all the way down where it says processor power management. Click on the plus sign, go to minimum processor state. Now for laptop users, you'll get two options that says on battery and plugged in. Change them both to 100%. Desktop users, you'll only get one option like this. So yours might say 30%, 50% or whatever percentage is in here. All you're going to need to do is click on it, click on the box, delete everything that's inside here and type in 100. Say apply, 
scroll all the way down and make sure that your maximum processor state is both on 100 as well if you're a laptop user and a desktop user just make sure that it's on 100 percent click ok and then close out of this now once you're done with this and you're a nvidia user stay tuned i'm going to show you what you can do with nvidia control panel so all you're going to need to do is click on your desktop go to nvidia control panel if you do not see this when you click right click on your desktop and you do not see this all you can do is go to the search bar and type in nvidia control panel now i'm going to right click on my desktop go to nvidia control panel and go to nvidia control panel now once the video control panel opens what this is what you're going to need to do you go to adjust image settings with preview you go to use my preference and change this to performance and say apply i do not need to do this since i have a really good graphics card but this is for people out there that really needs that extra fps boost and just in general a better gameplay experience so i'm just going to keep mine as is so the next step you're going to need to do is go to this over here i'm just going to say no go to this over here and select your graphics card if you have a dedicated graphics card select your graphics card do not i repeat do not select your cpu your cpu will be bottlenecked your cpu is going to push its max and then your game is going to run even worse so select the graphics card that you have this doesn't matter if you're an amd user or a hd intel user it doesn't matter as long as you select the graphics card that you're currently running and then say apply once you're done with that you're going to close out of this and I'm going to show you guys what you can do inside the game to get more FPS inside the game itself with the options that it's going to give you in the game. And I'm going to show you what you're going to do there. All right, so let's jump straight into that. Let me show you what you need to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in Days Gone right now. All you're going to need to do is go to the options menu over here and go to display. Once you're in the display options, all you're going to need to do is change this to full screen mode or keep it at full screen mode. If you're still getting FPS loss, all you're going to need to do is click on here and change it to full screen window. Your game will still be in full screen mode, but you might get more FPS. I'm just going to change mine back to full screen. Now what you're going to need to do if you're a laptop user or a desktop user, it doesn't matter what user you are, just change it to the highest resolution that your laptop can do or your display can do or your monitor. Just keep it at the highest one that it can go. I highly recommend keeping this at 60 hertz. If you've got a 120 hertz monitor or 144 hertz monitor or 240 hertz monitor, change that to 120, 144 or 240. Now, people out there that is watching this video is most likely playing this game at a 60 hertz refresh rate. So just keep it at 60. That's why I changed it to 60. Where you see it says V-Sync, just switch this off. Where it says frame rate limit, say unlimited and where it says sync all you need to do is keep this at 60 fps now once you're over here where it says hdr if this is locked it will automatically off and just say apply once you're done with that you're going to go to your graphic settings and we're going to change some graphic settings inside here okay so ladies and gentlemen as you can see we are in the graphic settings now overall brightness is your own personal preference i keep mine at five with this field of view i keep mine at 100 this is your own personal preference again, but I keep mine at 100 so I can see more on my left and right hand side. Where it says render scale, I keep mine at 100 with my graphics card and I do fine gameplay with my GPU. But you can change this down to 90 and you'll get more FPS out of your game. So as you can see at the top left, I'm doing 126, 125 at the moment with the 100 scale. You can change this down to 90 and it'll still look exactly the same and you'll do more FPS. So change this to 90 if you want to get more FPS out of your game. I'm just going to change this back. All right. So what you're going to need to do here where it says quality preset, you're obviously going to have it on custom because we're going to customize these things inside here. And I'm going to show you what you're going to need to do. All right. This one over here, you're going to switch off. This one over here, you're going to switch off. Where it says lighting quality, check my FPS. All right. So it says lighting quality. I'm going to change this down to about low. And I do much more FPS. So this one over here, I'm going to change this to medium and check my FPS. I'm going to change this one over here to about medium and check my FPS. So where it says shadow quality, this you can actually take down to about low and you'll get more FPS out of your game. This one over here, I highly recommend putting this on about low and your game will look like this and you'll get more FPS out of your game. Or you could just put it on medium and you'll still get more FPS out of your game. This one here, all you're going to need to do is change this to about medium or high, and you'll get more FPS out of your game. This one here, keep it on low, keep this at 150, keep this at 1500, and keep this one at 150. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you can get more FPS out of your game in easy and simple steps without actually going to go and download FPS boost packs or some bullshit that people are linking you in the description down below. No, I'm not one of those people. I'm just here to help you out as best I can and show you guys what you need to do in the game to get more FPS. 
So if this works for you, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment down below because I would like to get some feedback from you guys. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new for regular videos to be uploaded on a regular basis. And as always, peace out.